Hey everyone, I'm your host, Blake Pinlin, on the Read Learn Life podcast. Here at Read Learn Life, it's all about better books to read, better ways to learn for a better life to live. So, what I want to share with you today is a better way to shorten the URL links that you use on Twitter. Let me show you an example here. So, on my Twitter account, by the way, I'm going to shamelessly encourage you to follow at Blake Pinland um, on Twitter because I want to get to know you and I want to be friends and it's going to be awesome. But there's a lot of times where you post a URL and the whole thing, it can have dot, 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 dot. And there's just huge, huge uh, URL links out there. And sometimes they can take up. Now, usually Twitter does shorten some links, but some links don't get shortened for some reason. I don't know why. Here's an awesome one by the Startup Princess. Um, the the little link right here, she's used a thing called bit.ly and then only a couple little letters and the word sales. Now that link is, is going to go to a totally different page. I'm not going to click on it, but it's just a point I wanted to come and share with you on the Relearn Life how-to tutorial. Over here, we've got another one, the same thing. So how do these guys do this? How do they get these short little links? Well, if you click up here and you go to bitly.com, you can paste a link into here and click on the word shorten, and then you can copy that link. And I'm going to do it right here. So back to the Read Learn Life blog. So I'm going to click over here on bookshelf because this is where we keep all of our recommended books for people who want to... Uh, who want to learn some new books to read or, or find some recommended books to read. So I'm just going to scroll down here. Oh, we've got a nice book up here. That is a great book if you want to check it out. Um, but what I want to do is I want to share this link on my Twitter account or on Facebook or Pinterest or wherever I want to. But I don't want that whole link to be there. So I'm going to go up here in the corner. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to copy. It's easier to press control C, but I'm just uh, going to do that so you can see what I'm actually doing. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm going to right click again. I'm going to paste this bad boy right into the link. Oh, awesome. How cool is that? Now it comes up. It's the readlearnlife.com slash bookshelf forward slash, which actually looks like that. So what I do is I'm going to click copy. I've got it copied. I'm going to come up here to my Twitter account and you know what? I'm going to post it right now live. So there it is and it's just a tiny little link um, and I'm going to write something on there. I don't know what to write here. Um, check out some of our recommended books uh, at Read Learn Life. So I'm going to do some hashtags here. Uh, learn. Hashtags are really good to use. I don't know if you use them or not, but it really helps people to find you. Let's go success. Um, hashtag books. Um, hashtag read. Hashtag um, awesome. That's a good one. That's a fun one. Hashtag life. And hashtag, I'm going to say finance because that book that is on the bookshelf there is actually about some finance stuff. So check out some of our recommended books at Read Learn Life and that's the little link that they can do this. So I'm going to tweet this bad boy out. There it is. Awesome. Tweet it out and I've got that little link right there. Let's see if it works. Boom, baby. In your face. Loving it. Okay. I hope to see you guys on Twitter. Uh, again, please follow me at Blake Pinland. I'm looking forward to catching up. And if you learned how to shorten a link from this video, please share that with me uh, as soon as you can. Looking forward to seeing you at the Read Learn Life podcast um, and the blog here for educators, mentors, leaders, entrepreneurs, and life learners who want to live better.